Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have a much requested Target Spring and Summer Haul and Try On to share with you. You ladies told me that I needed to check out Target and spoiler alert, you were right. I can't wait to show you the pieces that I found at Target. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. Line, they're calling this the floral print balloon sleeve long sleeve ruffle collar dress that's a really long name they're calling the color red I would disagree with that it looks red in the monitor but I have to tell you that in person it's more of an orangey coral this also comes in a purple and a yellow and this is rated four stars online the fabric is 100% rayon it says to machine wash and tumble dry I'm very skeptical about that tumble dry instruction. And if I were to keep this dress, honestly, I would hang it to dry. One of the first things that I noticed about this dress is even though it is rayon, it is not especially lightweight. And I think it's partly due to the copious amounts of ruffles. Full disclosure, when I saw this in the store, in my mind, it was going to look beachy and breezy, and I was going to stand in the sunshine and it was going to blow in the breeze and look very romantic but instead honestly I think it just looks hideous on me as the name implies it does have a ruffle around the neck and then there is an elastic at the waist and also at the cuff I think the combinations of the ruffled neck the balloon sleeves and the copious amounts of layers of ruffles at the bottom are what make this dress look overwhelming to me. I'm going to call this dress my fantasy life fail because I pictured it looking one way and it looks completely different on, honestly. I feel like I'm ready to star in an episode of Little House on the Prairie. This dress is so voluminous and overwhelming on my frame. With all of that said, I do like the concept of it. I think that the color is beautiful and I am not adverse to florals in general, but the whole combination of the ruffles and the length and the volume just doesn't work for me. I have on the next four pieces, I want to talk about the top first. This is by Universal Thread. It is a size large and I'll tell you why in just a moment. This is $19.99. Online they're calling this the long sleeve ruched t-shirt. This color they're calling violet. It is definitely a lilac color. It also does come in a cream and a very dark charcoal gray. This top is rated four stars online. The fabric of this top is 100% cotton. There are some things that I like about it and some things that I do not like about it, so I wanna talk about each. I like the scoop neckline and the puff sleeves. I've mentioned many times that I have narrow shoulders and a puffed sleeve or a sleeve deep detail like this really does help to balance out my figure. Right now I'm carrying most of my weight in my tummy area, so this helps a little bit. As soon as I saw this in store on the hanger, I could tell that it looked small, so I automatically went up to the size large. And honestly, even in the size large, the sleeves are tight on me. Now, even when I am carrying the extra Quarantine 15 Plus that I'm carrying, I still have thin arms and these sleeves are way too tight. If I were to have a hot flash right now, I would have to stop filming and rip this top off. So that's why I am not keeping this. I do love the color and the concept of it. It just didn't work out for me. The necklace that I'm wearing, however, I do like a lot. This necklace is by the brand A New Day. They're calling this online the Trillion Shape Sprayed Cabochon and Thread Wrapped Pendant Necklace. It is $16.99. Now I buy a lot of jewelry at Walmart and probably the top dollar that I have ever paid there is $8.99. This is a little bit higher than a Walmart piece, but I think it's unique enough that I'm considering keeping it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. You can see that it has 
a nice long chain. It also does have an extender. I like this long look to elongate an outfit. I also like the fact that this is two-tone because it makes it very versatile. So the chain is a gold tone and then the little drop pendant is a silver tone. The wire wrap detail almost makes it look like it has glitter or a little bit of sparkle. Thankfully it is not glitter. It is the wire wrap detail. Overall I do really like this necklace. I am curious to hear from you if you think this is worth $14.99. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to talk about the shoes I'm wearing as well. In almost every try on that I do, I wear a pair of shoes that I got from Stitch Fix a couple of seasons ago that are my go-to because they match everything and they're easy to put on and off. I have been on the hunt for a neutral everyday shoe to share with you for an extended period of time, but I didn't want to just show you a shoe that sort of looked like the ones that I wear, but that weren't comfortable and weren't reasonable. So when I saw these, I decided to give them a try. These are by Universal Thread. They're calling these the Reagan Mule Clog Heels. These are a size eight as a point of reference. They are $34.99. They're calling this color tan. These also do come in black and they are rated four stars on the Target website. When I first put these on to film this segment, I was staying on the carpeting because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep these and I didn't want to scuff the bottom so that I couldn't return them. But lo and behold, these are so comfortable. I am 100% keeping these. I love the simplicity of them. They have just the right pitch for me personally. They have this pretty stud detail, a solid block heel. I feel very stable in these. They have a nice grip on the bottom and anything that has this beige or flesh tone, I personally find elongating. It's why I wear the other shoes that you see in my try-ons all of the time. These honestly are much more comfortable than the ones that I usually wear. They also have a good bit of padding and because of the pitch I feel a natural arch support. I cannot recommend these highly enough. This is by the brand A New Day. They're calling this the Caramel Zip Closure Clutch. It is $25 and it has a five star rating online. I am ridiculously in love with this cute little cognac colored bag and I'll tell you why. I personally prefer not to carry a big heavy bag. It has always been my preference. If I'm just running out to go shopping, I will more often than not have on a very small crossbody and I just carry the essentials, which these days are my cell phone, a mask, hand sanitizer, sunglasses, keys, and a little card holder. This bag fits all of that. You wouldn't think so. You can kind of see by the side view. For being such a small little bag, I think this is so well made. It's obviously a faux leather, but I have to tell you that it feels very supple. It has a zipper at the top to keep everything inside. I love the little gold tone circle here. This wide and supple band at the top fits easily over my wrist. But remarkably, when I drop my arm down to my side, the bag doesn't fall off. As much as I like small bags and I'm a big fan of being hands-free, I don't always want to have a crossbody strap cutting me in half here. Sometimes it looks really odd with an outfit. I think this is a really cute alternative. I love that it's a neutral color. It matches the shoes that I just shared with you exactly. Now, realistically, if you carry a very large bag and you're comfortable with it, you're not going to like this. But if you like to carry just the essentials, be very lightweight and hands-free, I highly recommend this one. Online, they're calling this the Flutter Short Sleeve Scoop Neck Essential T-Shirt. That's a big long name. The color that I'm wearing, they're calling Apricot, although to my eye, it looks more of an orangey coral. This also comes in what they're calling purple, which looks like a lilac to me. And it comes in a pink, which has this same kind of striated tie-dye look to it. This is rated four and a quarter stars online. The fabric is 97% rayon with 3% spandex. And then there is a little bit of lace trim on the shoulders, and that is a cotton and nylon blend. It says that this is machine wash, tumble dry, and cool iron. Starting with what I like about this top, I do like the color combination. You know that I'm a fan of flutter sleeves. This doesn't come too low underneath the arm. You can't even see the regular bra that I have on. This fabric is very thin 
And I know that it's a summer top and you want lightweight fabrics, but this definitely is going to show every bump and bulge. And I personally do not wear shapewear in the spring and summer. Whatever it is, it is, and I just try to camouflage it, right? This top is also very long on me. Now, as a point of reference, I am five foot four. I started out by tucking one side of this into a pocket to give it an asymmetrical look. I show it untucked as well, and then because it is so long and so stretchy, I was able to tie this in a knot, and I did think that it looked cute that way. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. Overall, I think this is a really cute top. I don't know that I love it. I don't mind the sleeves. It's just that the fabric is so thin and I haven't watched the footage back. I'm a little bit afraid to. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this top. I wanna to talk about the jeans that I'm wearing. These are by Universal Thread. These are a size 10 short. I specifically bought them in the short because I wanted them to fit more like an ankle length. These are $24.99. They're calling these a mid-rise curvy skinny jean. I would have preferred a high rise, but the curvy part gave me a little bit of hope. The color that I have on is a very light wash and I did that intentionally. These also do have some distressing, which I personally don't mind a little bit here and there. We'll talk about that in just a moment. These also come in black that is not distressed and two kind of mid-tone blue washes that are also not distressed. These are rated four stars on the website. The fabric is 91% cotton, 7% recycled polyester, and 2% spandex. When I first put these on, I felt like a stuffed sausage. And I personally am not accustomed to seeing myself in a lighter wash jean. But I wanted to try a lighter color because I really like a lighter wash in the spring and summer. I realized that a darker wash is going to be more slimming, but at the same time, I wanted to try this color. These are a machine wash inside out, tumble dry. They say to use a warm iron if needed. Am I alone in this, but does anybody iron jeans? I don't. I can't imagine ironing jeans. They would have to be really wrinkled. And then I would probably just throw them in the dryer to knock the wrinkles out, right? Also on the care instructions, it says to remove loose thread if needed. I thought that was kind of an interesting care label instruction. I don't see any loose threads yet, but I also haven't washed them yet. These are a classic five pocket style. I have no gap at the back, which I frequently do. The place where these are distressed bothers me a little bit because for my height, it hits right at my knee. And when I was putting them on, I had that dreaded effect where your foot goes through the distressing and that makes me crazy. I really like just a tiny bit of distressing and maybe this is a bit too much or maybe it's the placement. Overall, I do like these jeans. I just don't know if I love them. It may be the combination of the very light wash, which I'm not used to seeing myself in, but also the fact that my foot went through the distressing when I was putting them on kind of put me off to them. But let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. In my quest to find a couple of different neutral shoes to share with you, I picked these up as well. These are by the brand New Day. They're calling these the Jana Sandal. These are a size eight. They are $29.99. The color that I'm sharing with you here is called cream. They also have these in a black, which is a great go with everything color as well. I personally prefer the nude colored shoes, especially with white jeans, because I really think that it elongates the legs. These also come in a color that they're calling taupe, but it is a multicolored snake print. I think that they're very pretty though, and I will pop a picture up here. Now, right off the bat, I do want to tell you that these did not work for me personally. You may love love them. I do not. They do have a nice solid block heel. They have a nice grip so that you're not slipping and sliding. The pitch of the foot I found to be comfortable. It has a little bit of padding and because of the pitch I also felt that I had arch support. Have you ever put on a pair of shoes where you felt like the only way to keep them on your foot was to squeeze your toes and walk very carefully? That's the experience that I had with these and I am a bit of a clodhopper. I clump around in 
issues. Full disclosure, I am not going to tiptoe around like a dainty lady to keep these on my feet. They just aren't practical for me because I just don't feel like I can keep them on. I think that they're very attractive. It's a nice modest heel. They were otherwise comfortable, but I kept feeling my foot sliding out. So for that reason, I will be returning these. So let's talk about my outfit of the day. The top that I'm wearing is one of my all-time favorite and most recent purchases from Walmart. This is by the brand Scoop. I love the color combination of this. I love these fun balloon sleeves with a long ribbed knit cuff. I think this is such a nice fabric for the price. I couldn't be happier with it. If you haven't watched my most recent Walmart video where I feature this top, I will try to remember to link it in the cards above. The jeans that I'm wearing you've seen a hundred thousand times because these are my favorite time and true high rise skinny jeans. I wear them all the time because they fit, they're comfortable, and they're under $20. I can't say enough about them. Since I had everything out for a try on, I decided to show this top and these jeans with three different shoe options and three different bags. My name is Teresa. I'm so, what am I doing? I don't remember. Okay, let's try again. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have the mud. <laughs> If you would like to see even more affordable, <laughs> affordable, affordable, why can't I say affordable? What is wrong with me? Take two. If you would like, <laughs> that was a little too enthusiastic. Let's bring it down a little. I have one. <clears throat> For this next look, I have on four pieces. I want to, I have a hair in my mouth. They're calling these caramel zip closure. No, that's not it. <laughs> I'm describing a person showing you a shoe. If you would like to see even more affordable fashion videos for us ladies over 50, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me there. I would love to have you as part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here and I will see you next time.